Tifu by almost drowning in a cesspool in Iraq. Posted this to a recent Tifu and was told I should do my own. Here it is. This happened in 2004. TL doctor at the end. I was in Iraq and nearly drowned in an effluent ditch that led to a pit slash pool with literally everything bad in the world all in one place. I don't know how to describe why this pit existed. We drove by it every day and just thought it was a shallow area that water just pooled in from the wadis, farming irrigation ditches. It's in the middle of this business district, butchers, automotive, and medical. Near Fob Falcon if anyone is curious, outskirts of Baghdad. It's 3 a.m. We're heading in from patrol. It had been really rainy in the recent days. The area had swollen up with water. As we're driving the convoy takes a tight turn and our driver kept going straight. We stopped when we didn't see the convoy ahead as they were out of sight. There's trash everywhere on the ground in Iraq. The trash in the water met the level of the trash on the ground and made it look like just a muddy field. Driver goes to turn around and plows straight into what he thinks is just a muddy area. It was at this moment that we all knew he banana up. The HMMWV, Hummer, angled down violently into what we found out was a 15 feet deep cesspool of water, oil, gasoline, animal fluids slash entrails, human waste, and medical waste. Everything bad in the world. It instantly filled up with everything bad in the world. It was black, blacker that burnt oil, just pitch black water up to my neck. As it's happening the only thing I'm thinking is, no, 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 not like this. Dot. No life flashing before my eyes, no thoughts of loved ones, none of that. Luckily, the vehicle rolled as it slid in, catching on the gunner's turret and sticking on the ledge. The only thing left not submerged is the back half of the truck diagonally, and a single door, which is up armored and weighed like 300 pounds. All I can see is the window and some light from the inside. We all amazingly egress through said door and claw our way into the bank, which is littered with needles, expended medical supplies, automotive trash, entrails, etc. All of our weapons and sensitive items are lost to the pool of hell. The convoy ahead of us is a quarter mile away. We're in the middle of Iraq unprotected. We squated in a tight 360 and made it looked like we were armed until the convoy finally realized we were missing and came back. They spent the next 24 hours dredging the cesspool to recover the weapons. They hauled the truck back, pulled the engine, drained it, refilled it, and put it back in service. We spent the next six months riding around in the cheesecake truck and every time we got in it all I could smell was the cheesecake mud. They gave us all army commendation medals for saving our own asses. Tail drive. Almost drowned in a cesspool in Iraq got awarded medals for not dying. Edit, photo of the scene. I feel your pain, I had a driver who almost drove off a cliff because he thought it was just a little hill. Two wheels were off the cliff with a good a good 20 feet drop, instead of staying calm everyone panicked and jumped out, which was a good thing because the HMMWV fell down the cliff as soon as we all got out. It rolled for part of it, then flipped over twice, and that's one of the more mild incidents I had with HMMWVs in Iraq. We did lose a lot of people to accidents over the years in Iraq. Glad you made it. It's a light broth of everything bad in the world. Now I need Purell for my brain. Did you step on any needles or get pricked while getting out of the human butternut pool? Also how was the cleanup of yourself in human butternut and medical waste after? I was all scratched up from clawing my way out of the mess. All remember is digging my hands into mud and dragging all 230 pounds of me wearing gear, and my pistol being tethered to my eight back and thinking I was being drawn back in lol. Afterward, we went home, stripped down, put all our butternut in trash bags, hosed each other off, then went to the aid station to get checked out. Later we would get our things, scrub them off, wash our clothes slash throw away expendable things like uniforms. They dredged the pool the next day to get our sensitive items. Then we had to clean that too. My aid bag came back, same thing, my Littman Cardiology 3 stethoscope was drowned too. I cleaned it and kept using it until I could get a new one. My body armor continued to smell like that cesspool for the rest of the deployment. I still laugh about it knowing it could have been much more grave. Tifu when my GF and I live streamed us having banana to my family. Disclaimer, 
I'm Michi Thai player's boyfriend. This post was written by me with her okay. JFC, I'm mortified. So my family has this beach house out in a rather nice community. Nobody lives there, so it's free game whenever any of us wants to stay there. We put up security cameras throughout the house to monitor it slash make sure no one breaks in and steals butternut when no one's there. It also lets everyone know when any of us are inside the house, so no one freaks out that there's an intruder or whatever. We all have an app on our phones that lets us activate slash use the cameras, so anyone can see what's going on. It's not just my immediate family that can see the cameras, it's my aunts, uncles, and cousins. It's kinda like a communal house for all my family. Anyway, my GF and I wanted to do some cutesy Christmas stuff this weekend, you know like looking at Christmas lights, shopping, whatever. We both live in the suburbs which means there isn't jack cheesecake for us to do and so we decided to have a little weekend getaway at the beach house. To doing all of our Christmas stuff, we come back to the house and are chilling on the couch. Normally, as soon as I get to the house I turn all the security cameras to face the wall. I don't need any of my family spying on my GF and I, instead I'll just give them a heads up that we're there. Well, the mood struck while we were chilling on the couch and we had some particularly great banana that spanned across the living room. We, more specifically, I, finish, and start chilling on the couch again. This is where the banana goes down. As we're laying there cuddling, my GF notices a red flashing light in the adjoining dining room. She shrieks, backslash, camera, lo and behold, there's a single coconut camera just chilling on the cabinet in the dining room that I had no idea existed. I knew exactly what that meant. We were 100% being watched. Red light equals camera is active, and someone is creeping. I tried playing it cool so as to not freak her out, saying oh the camera is always flashing like that don't worry. No one saw us. She then tells me that she has the same cameras in her house and she knows exactly what the cheesecake that little red light means. Zucchini. I stood up, still banana naked, which I figured didn't really matter at this point, went over to the camera, gave it the finger for whoever was perving out, and turned it around. There was nothing either of us could do at this point. We were caught. Both just tried laughing it off. We've been dating for a couple months now, but my extended family has yet to meet her. She's coming over for Christmas. I'll be paying extra close attention to their facial expressions when they meet her, and praying that no one says anything. TL, Doctor, Security cameras in my family's house caught us in the act BC I forgot to turn one of them away from us. I think you should be less embarrassed and more pissed if a family member actually sat there and watched you have butternut. Yeah, we got some weird mofos in my family, but this is next level weird. Still no idea who was watching or for how long. Definitely feel violated. Who the zucchini wants to watch their family member have zucchini? Question I'll hopefully never know the answer to. We'll never look at each other the same way again. After Christmas update. It seems like overkill to have that many cameras all over a communal house. I get having a security system to monitor use but everyone having a live feed of the house is weird. I would feel uncomfortable with that if I was there with my so. It is overkill. My family is paranoid. Maybe they had an experience in the past where they think it's necessary. I'd is it possible that somebody had left the app open, meaning that the red light was on but nobody was actually watching? Not likely. You, I get high plays here. I pointed out the camera and he walked up to move it. The lights went off indicating the person shut off the view. That was the biggest damn it. We were watched moment for me. If they had just left the view on the entire time I would have considered it a coincidence. Tifu by telling this girl at work I would fuck her silly, NSFW. Background, I'm in the Navy worked with this girl for about two years on the same ship and we deployed for nine months last year. Know each other for roughly five years. Obligatory this actually happened today. Was scrolling Reddit afterwards and saw a post so decoded to share mine. So, normal work day, everything was good little bit boring and slow, a girl I worked with on a ship for two years just joined our workshop, 
Up until then it was a stag workshop, all dudes. Conversations typical to dudes chats were being had and the topic of which of these girls would you rail started to eventuate. Anyway, round robin everyone said Thea celebrity crush etc etc. Got around to me and I started talking about this chick, obviously same job title as us, and saying how good she looked in some of the outfits she would go on leave in. And then during my story I said there were so many times I would have coconut, insert her name here, silly. It was at that point all the blokes started laughing and pointing, she was standing behind me and heard basically everything that had been said without me knowing. Embarrassed as all hell I tried to apologize and say it was just everyone fooling around and all that. Pretty much now potentially looking at unacceptable behavior, possible sexual harassment in the workplace depending how far, if at all, she decides to take it. We've been friends for a long time, roughly 5 years. For the record I would 100% love to have cheesecake with her, just in hindsight should have kept that particular thought to myself. TL, doctor chat with the lads about chicks we would butternut and I said I would butternut girl silly we worked with and she was behind me. You are a colossal dumbass sir. I am 100% inclined to agree with you good chap. You're either getting disciplined, or the chance to butternut her silly, or both. That, remains to be seen. This was at roughly 9am this morning it is now almost 3pm, we haven't said a word to each other since. Are the good old let her hear how I want to cheesecake her silly move. True love, smirking face. Update, so we just had a pretty lengthy chat about it, basically said I was sorry for talking about her that way, so on and so forth. After a while we started laughing and joking about it and she actually asked me if what I said was at least true and if I was being serious about it, to which I replied yes I was being serious, have liked you for a while etc etc, without even thinking about it. She didn't say anything cool or expected like prove it or anything, but she was pretty cool with it. I got a sense that she was not flattered but, happy I said something? I don't know I'm bad at reading those signals. All is good though, I think it's actually better off. Who knows this could have been that moment and I might actually get to close out this long cheesecake game I've been playing. Can you keep up us updated on this? Yay I'll either post an update or just comment on here tomorrow.